five dollars, but that's fine. Did I just get poop? Mudstone. I doubt that's worth anything. So what you can do to find out about stuff like that is you can bring it to the actual library or the I forget what the term is. Bring it in here. And this happens. Abysmal. Not a single piece of the entire collection. Whoa! What's this? You found something? Let me see it. Remarkable. It's very old. I'd love to study this in great detail, but it is yours. Hmm. I've got a favor to ask you. Would you consider donating any new artifacts or minerals that you find? We could make a groundbreaking discovery together. Who knows, if you keep donating, I might come across some interesting items to send your way. So he's going to pay them. Think about it, will you? If you decide to donate, just bring the objects to the front desk. No problem. I'm, I'm actually going to do that. That's also how I kind of find out the value of certain items. If I always have them there for a reference, it just helps. Donate. Yeah, I did the quest thingy. Archaeology, and I got 250. That's enough to buy a lot of seeds and such. So let's go see what that mudstone actually described as. It looks like poop, so... Made from an ancient clay or mud. Probably not worth anything. However, it's something. So, next up, we wanted to go to JoJo's to see if they sell potatoes. They do? Perfect. Not, then I don't know what we're going to do, because we can't complete that quest without a potato. Hmm. Nope, they don't sell what we're looking for. Who are you? Shane's hard at work. Doesn't seem interested in talking. Nope, no potatoes. Alright. Nope, can't even grab them. I don't know what we're gonna do then. We gotta figure something out. Maybe we'll just explore around. Who knows? We might find wild potatoes. Craig, you want some wild potatoes? No, we don't. We don't want no potatoes. All these trees got cut down, huh? Well, don't leave the stumps. That's just rude. Oh, you can't cut them. I thought that you could improve the town. I was wrong! I was wrong! Oh, what's up? Yeah, he's going out in the rain. He don't care. Alright, let's go look around for some potatoes. Sometimes what you can do is you can find a lot of stuff kind of around. Like, he's still working over there. He's going to be working there for a while. I don't know what these do. So there's this... There's mysteries and magic in this world that you kind of find over time. But I haven't really found a ton of them yet. Uh, I found one very, like, you find it very early. It's kind of like a main story. It happens. But I haven't found a lot more. So this is one of the special things. This is a leek. Tasty relative of the onion. We are not going to sell that. And there is a reason, because you will need it later. Let me check something. Can we get up here? <gasps> no, we cannot. I thought we could. I got excited. So going down here, there's also something... Over there, why don't we go check that out and see what that is? Both the cave and the building. So the cave itself doesn't look like it has anything. I think that if we build a torch, we'll be able to find a little bit more in here. So why don't we do that? What are we gonna need? We're gonna need first off, we're gonna need stick. Why don't you cut that? Thank you. Then we're looking for coal. We've been finding coal in a lot of these stones, so let's hope that we find some more. Oh, wait. There we go. Now, let us build... Oh, sap is what you need. I'm a fool. So what we can actually do is... Nope. Uh, we're gonna get rid of you. Because that's one of the most re renewable resources in the entire game. The fiber. You find it everywhere. Is that poop? Right there. I think that might be poop. So that's what we need. Whoa. 
was. So anyway, we gotta actually stop at the house and drop some space so we have more inventory room to actually keep working on stuff. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. So you're gonna be staying. You can stay, you can stay, you can stay. And then we are going to craft two torches and throw them right there. Now the reason these torches will be useful is in here we should be able to see a lot more. However, I don't see a whole lot. There is that. I wonder what that is. And there's this. We'll put these two torches. Just see what we got. Doesn't seem like a lot. I feel like maybe you can build something into this cave. But now let's also check this. Whatever this once was, it is now in ruins. Then there's that. And those of you with a keen eye can see it already. However, it took me a little while to find it. What's over here seems to be a little bit of a secret that only comes around later on. There's a note on... You know what? Let's cut down this tree so you can see it better. Sorry all you butterflies, but we've got to do this for the secrets. That's right. Seems to be an altar of some sort. So if we get closer and we look at it... CJ, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. Now the question about that is, what does that mean? How did he? How does he know that he will be back exactly at the third year of you living here? Am I the only one who thinks that it looks strange? It's his shrine, meaning that most likely it is actually his burial. But if it were possible for him to come back, why hasn't he come back before? Why is he waiting specifically for you to stay at this place for three years? We don't know. We'll have to figure that out. That's one of the things that I hope to kind of discover in this game is to find all of its little secrets because of how much I love it. And then you'll hear stuff like that. It's very strange. We don't know. Well, I don't know personally. I'm pretty sure someone in the world knows. Maybe the creators of the game know what that sound is. I'm pretty sure it's almost like a monster somewhere. But if we look all the way down here, there isn't a whole lot of stuff. Just more land, and all this land is land that you can build on, thankfully. So, while we're gonna get out of here, we're just gonna do one shit. The whole purpose of us actually coming down here was to look for potatoes, and I didn't see any along that whole path. I gotta actually reorganize my tools, because this is gonna drive me nuts. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here. There's another one of those very valuable things we need right now. Wild horseradish. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually dump the sap and we're going to dump the stone. The horseradish is very, very good for uh, the springtime... I want to say it's like a springtime box and it improves your town hall as time goes on. On. Excuse me. My throat is getting a little bit sore. So now let's go over here. See all these? Spring onions only grow around here during the spring, kind of hidden back here. You get plenty of them though. I was thinking about whether we should be selling these or not, and what I'm thinking actually is that we're going to hold on to them as a food source of like renewable energy. And this is also the sewer system. This is tied to another quest later on, but however you notice a lot of garbage down here and I want to clean it up. I believe you can clean it up down there later. Also, you can explore the sewers later on when they get opened. So let's keep going. We're going to check the other side of the river, make sure there's nothing else that we're missing. But I think we should be golden. And we'll just fish for the rest of the night and then go back and work on the crops. So what do you guys think of this game, by the way? Do you really enjoy it? Are you finding it interesting? Have you played it before? I know that there were early versions of it out, uh, but this is the final version that the creators kind of dropped on us. I know for me, uh, the reason I kind of saw this game was because it's being published by Chucklefish, and I love Chucklefish. They are a fantastic company that makes really good games. Let's actually fill the water if we can. Thank you. 
they've made games like, I believe it was Starbound. They've made a lot of other games. They made Risk of Rain, or they, uh, what's the term? Published it. I have to sneeze. <laughs> Excuse me. I apologize for that. Oh. But yeah, they, they are a very good company. I've made a lot of really good games, so I enjoy them. So let's get one more fish. That's all I want. Whoa, okay, buddy. Wow, you got out of there fast. That fish was golden. Never mind, shit. Man, we're getting bite after bite instantaneously. It's very odd. I think it's because it's raining. Because raining, if you know fishing, actually helps fish. get They get excited and see the surface. There's more demon sounds. It's crazy. Dumb fish. You dumb fish. Make it this hard. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. I'm gonna catch you. Got you. A chub. Common freshwater fish known as for its vicious appetite. Alright, you chub. What do we got now? A bream? Fairly common river fish that becomes active at night. Well, you know what? We're gonna have to drop you. We're gonna take the bream. We got one more fish in us. That's the soil. That's again the soil. Don't don't fish in the dirt. It's a bad idea, guys. It doesn't really work out. One more. Come on. I'm fucked. Damn it. All right, guys. Let's head back. It's getting a little bit late. We don't want to be out at night time. I don't know what's actually out here at night time. I don't think it's enemy, any enemies yet. You start seeing monsters later on. I know that for sure. So we, we also want to be saving some money up. Which I'm going to probably tomorrow, since it's not Wednesday, I'm going to go buy a bunch of seeds. And hopefully we'll be able to... What was that? Someone just fall in the water, I'm assuming? But we're going to buy a bunch of seeds and we're going to start a lot of crop for the next few days. Oh, let me through, let me through, let me through. There we go. Yeah, let's throw those. Let's throw these back in here. So spring onion we're keeping. Chub can go in there. You can go in there. Wild horse radish is going to have to be saved. Gonna need a lot more wood. And to bed we go next day. And here's another thing. So when you level up, you learn more than just... Uh, you, you get more than just, you know, faster construction and things like that. You also gain crafting recipes. You get wild seeds. You also get field snacks and stuff like that. Stuff to boost your energy. So we made a decent amount from fishing. That's pretty good. Oh, my phone just hit 100%. Awesome. That was a weird sound. Alright, let's check over here. It's not raining again, if you notice. You can't hear it. I'm going to fill in. We're back in with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. All you folks living in Sarah, check the spring onions southwest of town. Where the river meets the ocean, you can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. We already did that. So, we're a little bit ahead of the game. Now, we want to also check fortune teller... Somewhat annoyed today. That kind of sucks. That's just bad luck for us. So let's check what we got. Cool stuff. Put my backpack. That does sound like us. Advertisement telling us that we can go buy a backpack upgrade, except the upgrade is very expensive.